All right, boys, if you've ever lost more than 50% of your portfolio in one single trade, then this video is going to help you tremendously. If you've ever felt like the biggest POS after taking a bad trade, your wife hated you, kids no longer respected you, and your friends definitely did not want to be you, then this video will change your life. Because today I have three simple strategies that you can start executing on today where you can become a much profitable trader inside of the penny stock market. If you clicked on this video and you have no idea who I am, guys, my name is Andrew, and last year I turned a $5,000 portfolio into $100,000, and I did that in just nine months. If you're a middle-aged dad, we're doing a Christmas giveaway. That's right. I know you've been wanting to join my private community where we talk about stocks all day, and I teach you all of these buying and selling strategies. If that's you and you're interested, click that link in the top pin comment right now and go ahead and join our giveaway. On December the 26th, we're going to pull three names and three people are gonna get access to every single thing that we offer as far as teaching people how to go ahead and click that link right now and take advantage. So I don't have a beautiful presentation set up for you today or a bunch that I'm gonna throw on screen. This is just gonna be me talking to you, right? So number one, if you've decided to come down here in the penny stock market, right? The number one thing that you have to realize to make yourself a better successful trader is that you have to make the decision to stop copy trading. And I know you guys do it. I know some of you guys watch these videos and you just copy trade. Andrew, I've seen you win so much in the past. I'm just, whatever you say, I'm going to buy it. And that's what most people do. But let me tell you how it can be very good, but it can be very de detrimental. So for example, if you copy traded almost any finance YouTuber in the year of 2021, you probably made really good money, right? However, in the year 2022, you probably got wrecked on a lot of plays too, right? So here's the, here's the problem with copy trading is it goes to the old saying of if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. But if you teach a man to fish, he'll eat for the rest of his life. The main goal of you watching this video should not to be, I'm just going to copy trade every single thing that Andrew says. <laughs> the goal should be, I'm going to learn a skill that's going to be able to make me money for the rest of my life because I need to protect and provide for my family, especially if you're a man Watch So you have to make the decision to stop copy trading. And I know, and I want to break down the psychological reasons why you want to copy trade. It's very simple. Every single human wants less time, less effort, and less sacrifice. And copy trading is like, oh, it takes less time, it takes less effort on my end, and it takes less sacrifice. However, you put the control and you put the power into somebody else's hand. What I would advise and what I would tell anybody is it's best if you come up with your own trading strategy and your own risk management system so you actually learn how to fish so you know the skill for the rest of your life. That way, one to two years from now, let's say like your finance YouTuber or whoever you watch or whoever you're copy trading, if they go into a bad streak or they stop trading or whatever the case may be, you still know how to trade and you still know how to. This is the first step that most people won't get by. Most people watching this video are going to continue to paper trade and they're going to continue to get wrecked because of the second tactic that I'm going to roll into. Why do people get wrecked when they copy trade? Because most people will buy and they may even sell if they're copy trading somebody and they're following their trades, but they don't, they don't ever set a stop loss. So rule number two, if you want to be a more profitable trader and you want to make an additional two to $3,000 per month trading stocks, you have to set a stop loss on almost every single trade. And what I've found is the sweet spot inside of the penny stock market, and it's going to be different for everybody because everybody has a different risk tolerance, is around 10 to 15% and 15% being the absolute max that you're willing, right? So if you get into, like, let's, let's break down, why, why are you trading penny stocks, brother? Because you didn't want to put it in the S&P 500 because you know year over year, you're only going to get a 9% gain. And if you adjust for inflation, that's really only a 6% gain. AKA, if you put $100 in, at the end of the year, you're only going to get $6 back, right? And you've made the decision that you know that that is not going to get you wealthy. That is not going to be a big needle mover in your life. And you want to pull on the levers that are going to make the biggest difference in your life. That is why you came down to the penny stock market because you want to strive for more, right? So let, let's break that down to the next level. So why do we have a better opportunity down here in the penny stock market? It's because every single stock does this. They are very volatile and they make massive swings. But with those massive swings to the upside comes massive swings to the downside as well, right? And the problem is if you're watching this, then you're probably getting caught on the downside. But there's a way that you can fix that immediately by setting a stop loss. So if you get into a trade, you set a stop loss at the price you bought in at, or maybe five to 10, or maybe even max 15% lower than what you bought in at, then you can walk away from your phone. You can walk away from your desktop or your laptop and know that that's, when that stop loss gets triggered, if that stock starts to go down, it will automatically sell for you. If there was one piece of advice you're watching, one thing that you got from this video, set a stop loss on ever help you tremendously. And that rolls me into number three. A lot of you get wrecked in the penny stock market. And I found this because I work one-on-one -on -one with every single one of our private members inside of our Discord. And this is one of the biggest problems is because of the 
the point that I just made, you came down here to the penny stock market to make a lot of money. And it's very, very tempting for you to just go all in on one stock, brother. I know you've done it. We've all done it. We're all guilty of it. We're greedy little bastards. I've done it many times in the past and actually been very successful. But it is also a quick way for you to get absolutely wrecked, right? So here's a sweet spot for you. If you find yourself being emotional over every single investment, if you're looking down at your portfolio and you're giggling <laughs> every single time you're up, or if you're like about to cry and getting stressed out every single time you're down in the stock, it's probably because you took way too big of a position. And here's the sweet spot. Take the entire uh, amount of your portfolio and make sure you put no more no more than 15 to 20 percent of your portfolio and if you start doing that you're going to take your emotions out of the trade and you're going to make more rational decisions rational decisions equals making money emotional decisions equals losing money right so if you just take those three steps and i got a bonus for you right here so step number one Make the decision to stop copy trading. A little bit more time, a little bit more effort, a little bit more sacrifice, but you're going to learn a skill that's going to make you money for the rest of your life. Step number two, you're going to start setting a stop loss on every single trade, 10, 15% max. That way, if you walk away from your phone, desktop, or laptop, there's going to be a safety for you so you don't get wrecked like 40, 50, 60%. Then step number three, instead of going all in on penny stock trades, you're going to put a max of 15 to 20% in one single trade at a time. And then that goes into my bonus, which is step number four. And what the fuck was step number four? I just had it on my fucking mind. Oh. And as a bonus, guys, if you do all of those things and you do this bonus, you're going to become a phenomenal trader and make an additional two to $3,000 per month. And that is by starting to take profits when you're up around 20 to 30% because that's the sweet spot. Because the truth is inside of the penny stock market, we have a ton of stocks that move 20 to 30%. But the problem is you greedy little bastards for some reason are not happy with 20 to 30% gains and you want every single stock to be a 100% banger. But you have to learn how to start taking profits a little soon. So if that was beneficial to you and you learned something, guys, highly recommend you take advantage of the Christmas giveaway. There's going to be multiple second and third place winners. And remember, we get results in three ways. One, we text you a stock uh, watch list every single Monday through Friday with stock so damn hot to make your wife call you big papa. Number two, we bring you into a community of investors because James Clear, who wrote an amazing book called Atomic Habits, he said, motivation is overrated. It's all about the environment you put yourself in. If you put yourself in an environment of people who trade stocks all day, you're more likely to trade stocks as a habit. And then step number three, we take you through a 14-day Stock God Masterclass where we teach you every single mistake that we made when we first started. That way you don't have more. You can start making an additional two to $3,000 per month. So if that sounds beneficial to you, click the link in the top-end comment. I'll see you on the other side. And that's all I got for you.